I suppose it was only a matter of time before Xbox held their own game press conference as part of Summer Game Fest, and I gotta say, compared to Sony's, Xbox got some really heavy contenders for some really good games, and I'm honestly very surprised. So if you saw my last video talking about, you know, Sony's press conference, it's kind of gonna be a similar thing where I'll be taking a look at, you know, the games that Microsoft revealed during their Xbox showcase, and basically going along and seeing what I liked, and what I'm excited for, and all that fun stuff, basically going into a little detail about what I enjoyed and all that stuff, and I think it should be a fun thing to do, because Summer Game Fest, honestly, has been looking pretty, pretty good, and then other studios like Capcom and Ubisoft have had their own press conferences that I might cover, but like, Microsoft, I've been an Xbox guy my whole life, start dating back to the 360, so Xbox is kind of like a second home to me, so I thought, might as well go back to my old stopping grounds and talk about, you know, some of the new things coming to Xbox Series X and Xbox One and all that stuff, so, not much more else to say, I just want to cover some of the Xbox games I liked and what I'm really, really gonna enjoy. Now, again, granted, I'm not gonna talk about every single game, but just, again, the stuff that I enjoyed, that I'm excited for, that I'm hyped for, personally, so, either way, let's not waste any more time, let's talk about some of the things that Microsoft showed off that really, really gave me that happiness smile in my heart. Starting off, we have a brand new Fable game. Now, I'll be real, haven't really been the biggest Fable fan in my entire life, honestly. I've maybe only seen snippets of Fable 3, and that's about it. But, you know, I'm down for, like, fantasy medieval third-person type gameplay in a unique fantasy type world. So, you know what? I'm down for it. I literally don't know what to expect. The trailer doesn't really give me that much to go off of. But, hey, you know, I'm down to delve into a franchise that I know a lot of people loved straight from the original Xbox going all the way back. So, you know what? New Fable game? I'm down for it. Love medieval fantasy, swordplay, and magic, and giant hammers, and stuff. I don't know. Either way, new Fable game, looking kind of cool. I'm down for it. Oh boy, we have Star Wars Outlaws. Now listen, I'm a huge Star Wars fan going my entire life. I love a lot of the games like Force Unleashed, and Battlefront 2, and the OG Battlefront 2, Bounty Hunter on PS2, Lego Star Wars, Jedi Fallen Order. So seeing a new Star Wars game, I love. And going for a more of the, you know, criminal type underground method, going for a more rugged and not more, you know, Jedi Order type game, I really think is interesting because, you know, we haven't really delved that much into the, you know, other people of the Star Wars world because usually when you think of Star Wars, you usually just go for Jedi, the Empire, the Sith, that's about it. But now we're going for a more, you know, criminal underground counting, going for like a Han Solo type approach, which I really do like, you know, and the characters and the alien worlds. I'm hoping this is going to be like a more of a third person game where you can go to different plants, stuff like that, kind of like, you know, a, a more thieving version of Fallen Order, I suppose. You know, I like this i like thieving around and this this looks cool uh again i don't really have that much to go off of but you know i love star wars i love going to visit different planets i love how they're gonna change up the gameplay you no know, we all love lightsabers let's be real going for a blaster might be a nice change of pace but overall i think this looks great star wars outlaws can't wait for it and uh hopefully it will do better than what jedi survivor did with its day one glitches but overall yeah star wars outlaws looking damn near awesome 33 Immortals. Okay, listen, this game I'm really putting on here specifically for the art style, which looks really freaking cool. Kind of reminded me of, like, you know, a classic painting with, like, you know, the brush strokes and, you know, the colors and the way it all looks with the shadows and all that. That's really what I'm going for me. Uh, but for the gameplay side, to me, first glance to me, it looks like Hades, which it probably doesn't play like Hades at all. But, I mean, it looks like that, kind of like a top-down type view. I don't know what the gameplay will entail at all, but, hey, I'm down for a more unique experience and... And if it's kind of resembles Hades in a way, if it really does go that route, I'm down for it. I loved Hades as a game. So overall, this looks really cool. 33 Immortals, unique title, and I'm hoping for a fun, unique experience whenever we see more of it. So yeah. <laughs> Now, the next two games I'm going to put together because they're from the same franchise, and honestly, I, they're pretty intertwined, so we have Persona 3 Reloaded and Persona 5 Tactics. Now, starting off with Persona 3, listen, I'm a brand new Persona fan. I've only played a few hours of 4 and 5, so seeing that they're remaking 3 is a big deal. 3 is the one I've wanted to play the most because of, like, you know, the, um, the logos and the art styles and just, like, the few things I've seen about the game, so I really want to play Persona 3, and the fact that it's actually getting re reloaded, no pun intended, is really really cool and I, I I'm, I'm happy that they're actually putting the effort to bring these games out it just makes me a very happy soul maybe at one day they'll release personas one and two but having three four and five on the same system is great and i am excited to see more persona f action because you know what considering like like in smash brothers three four and five are all presented and just seeing three the music and all there very hype for it and persona three reload looking looking really nice and i am super excited to play it looking great and awesome again and then we have persona five tactica now 
Now, from what I'm gathering, this is apparently a Persona 5 tactics game in the vein of, like, you know, Fire Emblem, and I, I gotta say, listen, I'm a big fan of tactics games, I'm not good at them, but I'm down for a tactics game set in the Persona 5 world, I love those characters of, of the Phantom Thieves and Joker and all that, so, seeing a game in the tactics vein with this, with these characters, I think is very, very cool, the music for Persona 5 is epic, the gameplay for tactics games can provide some very unique and interesting, you know, abilities and stuff like that, and I'm just really excited for it, honestly, speaking, you know, I don't mind these Persona 5, you know, you know, spinoffs, like, I love the little fighting game they did, this looks really cool too, so honestly, keep adding on Persona 5 funness, I'm really excited for this, and, um, you know what, I might be the only one out there, so Persona 5 Tactica looking, looking real damn good, and I'm glad we get to see some more Persona action in general, because I love the franchise now, even though I'm a brand new fan, looking great, looking awesome, I love this. Look, despite how people might feel about Overwatch 2 nowadays, just seeing a new-ish mode, I'm down for. I've played so many hours of Overwatch 2 on my PS5 that any new thing I'm down for, so Invasion's PvE mode, I don't know what it entails. Honestly, I'm just down for some more Overwatch with some really fun characters, and yeah, I mean, I just want just want to mention Overwatch 2 because, you know, I'm a big fan of the game, so getting some new content, I'm always down for, and uh, yeah, <laughs> Overwatch 2 Invasions. All right, I'm down for it. Here's a really odd one. Here we have Juicent, I think is the name of the game. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but either way, this looks really, really cool looking, I guess to be like a climbing type game in various environments. Alone, the art style looks really freaking cool going for a cell shaded simple type art style, which looks very, very appealing. And it looks very cozy, very calm. And honestly, for a very different type of game, you know, if it's just literally a climbing type game where you get to go to point A to point B, you know what? That's pretty much all you need and it looks very very fun the music from the trailer is so relaxing like i said the art style is very very nice and this looks really really cool i'm down for this yeah you know not every game needs like you know bam bam rudy tooty point and shooty type stuff sometimes you just need a simple experience you know what juicent looks like it's gonna provide that to me and you know what i'm down for it i'm down for a fun climbing adventure let's go <laughs> a series i've always had a sort of interest in is city skylines mostly because i think the idea of building your own city can controlling everything about it from the buildings and vehicles and the weather and all that I thought was really really intriguing so now we have a sequel coming out City Skylines 2 and I gotta say it looks like more of the same but probably a bit better and honestly I'll be real I think it seems like a perfect opportunity for me to just jump into it you know like I just like the idea of making my own stuff I always like open sandbox games like Minecraft and you know you know stuff like that making your own stuff and your own creations I think is very very cool so City Skylines 2 have actually having to make your own cities and controlling everything about it i absolutely adore and you know what i think i might pick up the first game and try it out and this might be prepare me for the second one if i want to buy it either way looking very cool i like this type of unique idea for a simulation game and uh, you got me hooked atlas just keeps on hitting metaphor refantasio <laughs> I think. Okay, now this game straight up gives me Persona vibes, which honestly makes sense. It's by Atlas, of course, but oh my god. I am a sucker for anime RPG type games with big stories, so this immediately hits my sweet spot, and this looking real damn cool, really giving me the vibe of not only Shin Megami Tensei, but Persona and stuff like that, and honestly very excited for it, you know? It doesn't take much for me to love a JRPG type game, so this looking very, very cool, and because it's by Atlas, you know you're in good hands and looks really cool. I don't know a heck of what's going on, but from the gameplay, it looks like a tiny open world. You get to experience, I guess, a ruined city of some kind. I don't really know. The menus look really freaking stylized. I'm down for that. So, Metaphor Refantizio. Sounds like a fun soda. <laughs> I got quickly mentioned Forza Motorsport 8 because it's insane how realistic and how crazy these games have gotten. The last game I played in the Forza series was Forza 4, and now we're coming up to 8, and these games look freaking incredible. How lifelike they look actually kind of scares me, but I'm down for a fun, realistic racing experience with you no know, realistic cars and fun, glorious tracks. I think that's one thing that makes me want to play these games a lot is the track design because they look so cool with the different locations and times of day and the seasons. Makes me want to really race through these places in real life. So, little shout out for Forza Motorsport 8. Looking really sublime, and I love how far they've come from the first game. It looking great and fantastic. I cannot wait to jump into this car and uh, play the game and go vroom vroom. <laughs> go vroom vroom. And to end us off, we have 
Starfield. The game that I think will never come out, but if it does, it has potential to be either the best thing or the worst thing ever, okay? Now, just the amount of hype that's behind this game is just insane. A open world space exploration game to basically go wherever you want, whenever you want, building your own ships and going on planets. This game looking really, really cool, and I cannot express how excited I am for this game. Now, granted, I was excited for Cyberpunk, and that was kind of in the same vein, and that game kind of flopped. So I do have a tiny hint of grain of salt for Starfield, but judging how long this game is going to take and how long, you know, they're talking about, you know, everything in the game, I do have a shred of optimism for what they're going to do. And, you know, I'm a sucker for space games and open world games in general. So you know what? I'm down for a fun space adventure. And hopefully as it goes on, they'll reveal way more stuff and, you know, show us actual really good gameplay. But as things come along, Starfield is looking very, very fun. And I cannot wait i cannot wait this has to be good because if, if, if this thing flops i'll be i'll be a very sad guy but if it's good this could be one of the best games ever made and i am so down for that so starfield looking great i have high hopes for it L looking a great way to end off the microsoft showcase and there you have it that was basically all i enjoyed from microsoft press conference it wasn't as much as sony's but i think judging the variety of games from you know action games to racing to jrpgs and stuff like that to sim games even i think microsoft has a lot of really fun things that they can go ahead and do now granted i do wish they would reveal a new halo thing or a banjo game banjo kazooie game but you know what as to what they have right now i have a pretty good eye for what they're gonna you know go ahead and do and i'm pretty excited to see what they're gonna do for the future so overall microsoft Soft, you're doing some good stuff you have a good you have a good head on your shoulders right now i hope you continue to go ahead and produce great games and you know what i'm just really excited to see the future of xbox and see what kind of games they'll end up producing with old and new franchises i'll still pray for that real banjo kazooie 3 i'll still hold up hope for that so thank you very much for watching and if you excuse me i got some more jrpgs i'll end up never beating <laughs> have a good night and see y'all next time